pleased to be joined today by Cameron Werner and Taylor Clark, Batesville High School Student Council representatives. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. We have a big event uh, coming up this Saturday, uh, Taylor, known through our hallways as Simi. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the overall experience. Well, it's a dance that all four grades can come together for. It's one of two that we have that all four grades are welcome for. Um, it's going to be a lot different this year. This is our first one since my freshman year. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of big things that we're going to put together for this dance. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. And we're always great to have it back. Uh, Kamen, the dance is open to all BHS students. So there's a little pre-work that needs to be done. Uh, it's always helpful to do that. What must a student do prior to the dance Saturday? Uh, are tickets sold at the door? Do I buy them ahead of time? And can a non-BHS student attend? Um, so as far as tickets go, uh, we are selling them during SRT, so um, that'll be open during all segments for students to come get their um, tickets done at Student Services, and then we also have, you can get them at the door, that's an option, but obviously that might take a little longer because you have to wait to get your ticket and sign in and everything, um, and then as far as if non-Batesville students can go, um, if you want somebody from another school to go, they have to be in high school, um, just from another school, it doesn't really matter. And um, obviously, get the formal clothes, get your dress, whatever you need, and that's pretty much it. Great. And so if I bring in a guest, obviously our students don't necessarily need IDs, but a, a guest would need an ID, some form of identification at the door so we know who they are? I'm pretty sure, yes, that would make sense for, they would need something to confirm that they're from another school or in high school. How about we just make that an expectation? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do that on the spot. See, this is decision making, yeah. live, yeah. live decision making, right? So, so any guest will need some type of identification from the school that they attend. Yeah. Taylor, you referenced, this is the first semi that we've had mm -hmm. uh, since your freshman year. Yes. You know, it's kind of been a, uh, an interesting time. Mm -hmm. over, and so three fourths of our buildings Hasn't been to a semi, at least sponsored it. What can students expect? Uh, came in and addressed a little bit about some, maybe some dress expectations. And is there just is this just a dance, or are there other things that our kids can do that night? So usually with everything Student Council does, we usually try to have different alternatives for everyone because we know not everyone's going to want to be dancing for three hours, all that stuff. So yes, there will be a dance in the cafeteria, but if that's not your thing, you can also go into the Ox Gym, and we're going to have games, activities, things like that, just for the people who want something different than just a school dance. Great. And to confirm, the times are from 8 to 11, correct? Yes. Okay. And so, came in part of any school dance experience is the opportunity for the school to provide a, a safe environment. So, we will go back to the, the use of breathalyzers as, as kids come in the door. But uh, other than that, it's a great environment for all kids to be a part of. We start at 8 and we go to 11. Why should, kid, why should kids come and stay all the way through the three-hour experience? So for this year, we wanted, since it was going to be in the cafeteria, we wanted to make the decorations big. So we're thinking of going huge for decorating the place. Um, the theme is winter themed, so we, we're so excited to make it how we want it for the dance. And, um, you know, in my opinion, I love dances. I love getting on the dance floor and dancing. It's just such a good excuse to hang out with your friends, have fun with your friends, you know, um, these dances are a part of the high school experience. So I feel like attending these will really make your high school experience well. And then also, if you're not a dancer or you don't like doing that, like Taylor said, there's activities and um, I think it'll be really fun. So I might be a, a, Taylor might be a high school parent that has never heard of a semi. Sometimes the messages that the kids have at school don't always make it home. Mm -hmm. As a parent, of a student that may want to attend Simony, what, what should I know ahead of time so that my kid, I can help my kid have the best experience on Saturday night? So I feel like the biggest thing that should be known is that there are gonna be chaperones there. Right. So there will be supervision um, in both the cafeteria and where all of the activities are gonna be. Um, I, I guess it's just, I don't know, it's gonna be a fun time. So I feel like for parents, they should know that like their kid, this is gonna make their, high school experience a lot better like Hammond said like it'll just make the whole like four years that you're in high school each year you have something new and I feel like this will make it just 10 times better and student council always welcomes any type of parental involvement or help mm -hmm. yep uh, we always can use chaperones uh, we can always use any type of uh, setup or tear down help 
student council, Mr. Satchel, our advisor, would be the best person mm -hmm. to contact. Yep. Right. Cayman, uh, final word here as we get ready for Simi Saturday. Talk about eight o'clock. I show up. Where do I go? How do I how do I access the Simi event? So, well, the entrance will be through door N um, by the Commons. So go in. If I'm pretty sure you just sign your name if you already have your ticket. And then we're going to have a little walkway. It's like a blue red carpet since it's winter themed. Um, there's going to be a backdrop if you want to take a picture, stuff like that. And then um, go in and dance. Um, it's going to be a really fun event. I can't wait for it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, Taylor, Cayman, thank you for taking mm -hmm. time this morning. I know you have to get ready to, for ticket sales and yes. get ready for the final <laughs> planning on Saturday night, but it, yes. we welcome this opportunity to have all four grades back mm -hmm. at the dance. Typically we have just over 50% of the, the student body attends this type mm -hmm. of dance. And so it is one of those experiences that, that I forget which one of you said it, that does make up maybe mm -hmm. the totality of the high school experience. Yeah. And we look forward to Saturday night. Yep. Thank you both. Of course.